Let's do a song for all blue eyed girls out there this time. Call the sweet little Miss Blue Eyes. Oh, yeah. Oh, Lord. Jim and Jess in 1976. That's what it was. Sweet Little Miss Blue Eyes. And they were played on the radio all day long. Oh, yeah. And plus, I gotta tell you, my wife back at the time, she had them little cute blue eyes. And when she tried to get around me, couldn't get it. She was just flashing me those eyes, blue eyes. And I was, I was, I was flabbergasted to say the least. Yeah, that's what it was back then. And I was a fine man too, don't get me wrong. You know, I, I had my game going on. Oh, game been around a whole long time, even down south. I can tell you that. And I was like, they used to call me Ladies Love Coulon. I, I hear there's a rapper now who goes by the name LL Cool something. He, he stole that from me, actually. You see, my, my name, by the way, speaking of which, is, is long deck. <laughs> yeah, you better be right, long deck. No, I don't mean it like that. Spell quite differently, you see. But anyway, they used to call me long dick lightning bolt. You know why they call me like that? Because my barrel goes so fast, nobody could ever stand up against me. Now that was back when I had some use to myself. Now I'm all just stole bones and living a ranch life. That's all we do down south. Still good though. Texas Ranger. I used to love the Texas Rangers too. And they had this show, you know, the uh, uh, when you're down in Texas, don't behind you, because that's where the Rangers are going to be. I, I used to love that show, Chuck Norris. He was. He was I used to love seeing the old man just beat some ass. I kick the hell out of them people. Yeah, that's that 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 was how I used to live back then. And my wife now, you you don't want to see what she look like. She she a she a she a, she a tragedy, a disaster to say. I, I tell you, we got a nine children, proud of five boys and five girls. Oh, sorry. Four girls, I, I I lose track sometimes, but that's a pretty tiny, small number down south, as you would understand. <laughs> it goes with a lot bigger than that around here. The neighbors got fifteen. The other corner around there, I think I think he he got nineteen kids. I don't know how his wife did it, but she's strong, real strong. I could tell you. Oh yeah, but. My wife and I, we, we, we just stopped making babies at a, at a certain point. But you want to know why, though? All right, I'm going to tell you why. You see, first we was all about God and the church, you know, no using the contraceptives and all of that. Well, I figured if we was to go by, by what just the church wanted, we would probably end up filling up the whole neighborhood with them little babies running around, so... I think we just as much my I might just start putting on my rain boots before I jumped in the rain. So I, I just do it. Worked out pretty good that plan. <laughs> oh yeah. Well anyway, we really don't quite get on alone that much, you know what I'm saying? She's a she see something. Like just hold on a second, let me, let me show you something. Hey Linda, could you grab me a Bud Light? And bring it on quick, bitch. Damn, she just be dragging her feet all around the house for no goddamn reason. Since we had them kids, she has become as slow as hell. Moving like a lorry or something. I never understood that part. Why do women just have to get old sloppy and bobby when they ever just get them kids and they just turn into big lorries and stuff? I keep asking myself that question. And they say they fine. Oh Lord have mercy. Not in my eyes no more. And I'ma tell you, and I'ma tell you something. We're it's so bad between both of us. 
You see, things happen between us. I tell my friends, and they become international redneck jokes. You won't believe it. I'm gonna tell you one. So this will happen. You see, my wife, she started having this problem. I won't tell you what the problem is. I'm gonna ruin the joke. So she go to see the doctor. And she went to see the doctor. She told the doctor, uh, Doc, um, I got this bad, bad problem. And she tell him, um, she fought like all the time. She fought like every five seconds. And uh, I ain't feeling this song. It's, it's, on, it's on the radio, folks. It's new technology and stuff. I gotta change this. Uh, j- j- just give me a second. Let me see how I was doing. I, I got a little bit of uh, duck in my teeth. I've been eating some duck. It's good meat. You should try it. Some good meat, people. See what I don't like about them new school radios? They be playing all this stuff. I don't even know what the hell it is. I guess I might have to switch it up as a whole. I don't got no damn idea what they be playing out here. I'm trying to get me some good radio up in here. Let me see how that would work now. Woo! Alright, that's what it is now. Play me all that dumb new school music. Yeah, like I was saying though, let's get down to my joke. So, I'm like, well, it's a real thing. It's my wife. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Linda. Just gotta tell him. So she go to the doctor. She tell him. Um, she she, she fought like every five seconds, and then she needs a she need a she needs some medicine. But the problem is, it ain't coming out with sound. It's just like them silent, you know them silent killers that people be sitting in a room and the old lady fart, nobody know what happened. And she be sitting as innocent like a white angel. That's how my, that, 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 that's Linda right there. That's my wife right there. And she would fart and like, it, it, it don't, it don't sound, no sound coming to it. And she say to the doctor, the worst part of it is, it ain't smell. It don't smell, so she fart. No sound, no smell. Doc, I need some help. So the doctor shook his head and he was like, "Okay, no problem. I'm gonna say it to you, ma'am. Let, let me try see how I can help you." So he gave her some medicine and told her to come back in two weeks. And she came back in two weeks and she was like just barging to the doctor's office and she was just biting her way through to see him and she was screaming all out like doctor what did you do to me you made my situation worse she said doctor since i started taking your medicine you know what happened to me now i fart and not only like before but now it smell doctor what did you do to me my situation is worse the doctor just looking down and pondering towards one upper angle of the wall he looked at her Raised one eye brow. He said, ma'am, your fart smell now. She's like, yeah. And he said, well, now that we done with your sinuses problem, let's see what we can do with your hearing problem. <laughs> now that's my wife right there. That woman will drive you crazy. And don't, don't take her anywhere public. She will drive the shit out of you. She be mean to me too. Oh, did I tell you about the day the devil was coming to town? It was a bad day. Say I've been drinking all night. I, I can't even remember too good, but I remember. I remember just as fine and just as much. Everybody was running around and pulling chairs and kicking about, and the devil was coming into town and people were running around and everything. And I tell you, yeah, the devil do come down here. He do come down south. I don't know about you up north, but he do come down here. And he step in. This bar I was drinking, I was probably listening to this song, by the way. I can't even remember what song it was. And I be drinking so hard in my red motorcycle mixed with a with 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 a, with a, with a lip tonight, and and I just put a blue motorcycle in it, and and, and, and 
I can't remember Coke and Brum or whatever it was. I just mixed every all the shit there now. Came in. And he came and stood right by me. And he asked me, Son, do you know who I am? I'm like, Yep. And I take another sip. The devil was like, Who the hell does this man think he is? And he tapped me again. He's like, Son, do you know who I am? And I looked at him. I said, Yeah. I've been married to your sister for 27 years. How the hell do I not know who you are? <laughs> Lord, I can tell you. Seen some rough times. Yeah, but that's what it is. Well, it's long dick here. Anytime you need to call me, you know how to get to me. Just ask anybody down south. Long dick lightning bolt. Texas Ranger, 1975. They will hook you up. See you next time. Did I, did I get my cap right? Losing my tactics as a gentleman. What was it? Is it up or down? Don't matter. See y'all next time.